everyone it's sue welcome back holy scrap number two um so i've got another drawer this time so this time you might want some bigger scraps so these are just the ends of some 12 inch pages that i made envelopes to go into my mystery boxes um i know this is a huge piece but anything that i cut off a 12 inch piece that's left over i call a scrap so you might want some bigger pieces you know just bigger scraps you can you can use smaller but i'll just show you what i'm going to do you'll also need just some um few embellishments like some butterflies or florals or some stamps where we can stamp some images and i'll explain it all to you very shortly okay so this is what i've got i've got some this is the drawer that i normally have upstairs so if i'm sitting and watching tv i will collage some tags um so i'm hoping that i've got some card weight scraps in here and we can just use patterned anyway all right so let me just get this all to the side and get myself sorted so grab your scraps some embellishments like some butterfly stickers or fussy cut butterflies that sort of thing and we'll get started all right so i just grabbed some random bits and pieces some bigger i mean i call these bigger pieces of scraps um some medium size and some smaller size so what we're going to be doing today is making some pop-up journaling cards or decorative cards to go in our journals either in pockets or just to be glued to a page so i'm just sorting these out into a little bit of size okay now i like all the vintage sort of colors but i tried to just grab a few you know different colors that i don't normally use a lot of now there are no measurements so just use your scraps and adjust them to however um you feel you want to so what i might do is i'll um i'll, I'll show you one now i'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping this works out. So we're going to use this larger piece, okay? I'm just going to cut the white edges off this. And we may even be able to get two cards out of this one. Now, this is a printable. Um, so I'm going to have this as the outside. So we might even cut this in approximately half. As I said, whatever size scraps you've got, you use actually no i'm going i am going to leave that that size um i'm going to cut this one down a little bit okay so we need some card sizes so that's what i'm just going to do this is another piece of 12 inch paper that's left over i'm going to cut two sizes of card out of this just cut either side of that circle and we might just get started with that so that's that's the cards actually I want to use this one as well all right so I'll just get rid of this rubbish I'm not keeping these scraps you could keep that for collage if you want to I'm just going to throw them out because we just keep building and building don't we all right, so what you need is some cards. I'll show you one that's folded in half, okay? So get a card or a strip of scrap, whatever size you like, and fold it in half, okay? So I'm gonna have this as my outside and that as my inside, all right? So then what we need also then is just a little piece of um, card weight. So these are card weight and you'll need card weight to go inside to make your pop-up piece i'm just trying to find my bone folder here okay we're going to fold that in half now we're going to need something to go on the inside now i probably would get something that sort of matches color wise which this is isn't too bad you're not going to see a lot of this but you will see some of it now this measures two inches wide by let's say two and three quarters so I want it a little bit bigger. Let me just get, we want to cut a piece about one and a half inches by four inches. Okay, so we're going to cut one and a half inches, 
one and a half. by four okay and we've got a piece like that so we've got one card and another strip like this now if you've got a scoring board uh, probably easier to use this so what we need to be doing with this little strip is we need to be scoring it every inch so we're going to score it at one inch can't find my um, smaller bone folder at the moment so this is a little bit too thick for this but it will work okay if you don't have a um, scoring board just use a ruler and um, a, like a, a ballpoint pen that's run out so what we're going to do is we're just going to fold this in like so on all the folds and what we have is a little box okay what we're going to do here is we're going to glue so we're going to fold it all in so this is the center fold and these bits that don't um, join in to make it a tube we're going to add glue here and here and we're going to line it up with our center fold and we're going to glue that down and you'll see why in a minute so I'm just going to use my art glitter glue and I'm going to glue those two flaps down I'm so sorry for the confusion if I've really really confused you I've probably lost um, plus lost you from the the beginning <laughs> but um, so we're going to glue those two bits and we're going to find the center fold and we're going to line that center fold up with that and probably preferably in the middle of the card approximately once again, we're using scraps. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so we're just going to burnish that, make sure we've got that all down nicely. And this is what I was trying to tell you. Now we've got a pop-up card. Okay, so this you can make um, smaller. So probably if you do one inch, so that would be about that wide by three inches um, would be good depending on what you want to actually put on there for decoration um, so this is probably a little bit thick but so let me just show you what I'm doing so we're going to have a card we'll have that in a pocket and then we open it up and we have a little pop-up okay so I'm going to get a fussy cut butterfly or something and put on there just so that you get the idea so I've got some fussy cut um, bits and pieces here and you could even do what have we got in here so obviously you need to get something that's going to fit inside your card so obviously you couldn't use <clears throat> excuse me that mushroom because it's going to be too big um, let me just have a little bit of a sticky big here that one's going to be too big too. Yep. Okay, let's go back here. I'm going to have a butterfly just to show you. And then what I'm going to do is I'll probably end up speeding up um, the video after I do a couple more with you and just show you what I mean. So this is definitely... Um, the pop-up piece in the middle is too big so we just need to um, finesse that I'm just looking for some ink uh, to ink around the edges yeah I'm a little bit um, now I've lost the the foam <laughs> doing well aren't I um, I'm a little bit under the weather and overtired at the moment because mum's been um, in hospital and had a shoulder replacement. So she's needing extra care at the moment, which is fine. I love caring for her, but um, I'm just my, not getting as many videos done as I would, would normally get done, which is fine as she's more important. Um, and I'm tired. I just, my brain just does not want to work properly. <laughs> 
so um, so please just excuse the confusion I easily confuse myself these days all right so as you can see well hopefully you can see um, this is quite wide quite big so we really don't need it that big but I'm going to glue this down just to give you an idea of what what I'm talking about Okay, so you could glue this down on three sides onto one, two, three, and glue it down onto your page and you could have a pocket here and you could decorate this. You could make a closure for it, which you probably would have to because the um, little box sort of makes it pop up itself. And then when we open it up, we have a lovely little card where you could journal um, if you wanted to, or you could just use it as decorative purposes with a pop-up. So it closes down and then it pops up. So isn't that fun? And it's a great way to use up some of your scraps. So we'll make another one and we'll make it with this little pop-up box here, um, a little bit smaller. So I'm going to make it probably, let's make it um, one inch wide by, let's make it three. We'll do one inch by three inch and we'll see what we come up with. Okay, so cut another piece um, so that's what I mean these pieces come in really handy all these little off cuts um, so we'll cut cut this down okay so we're going to go one inch One inch by three inches. Okay. So the four inches obviously makes it so much easier to um, find your scoring, but if you've got an odd number and you don't want to work it out, fold your strip in half first, burnish that, and then you're going to fold one side in just to the edge of that folded middle there. Burnish that. And then the same with the other side. Just gonna fold to that in. Just gonna leave a tiny little gap. Whether you can even see that, just a tiny little gap. Okay. So that's not quite as big. You could even go, if you wanted to, two inches. But let's just do, we're going to do this one and I'm going to actually use this in, in a journal. So what I would do is I would just, well, probably these two flaps here, you wouldn't have to ink around because they're going to be glued down. But just if you like to ink, just ink all your edges now. Okay. So that's the box and what are we going to use let's use let's just use this little oh, I don't know why am I making it so hard for myself let's use this one So I'm just going to fold that in half. Okay, now that's obviously not a very straight scrap. So if you want to trim it up, you can. Okay. I'm just going to rid of all these tiny little scraps now I don't keep all those they will go so once again with these videos <laughs> I'm just showing you what you can use your scraps for now obviously if we're just going to make one of these they're not going to use up many scraps so I guess the idea is just to have a session even if it's half an hour making up a few of these 
bits and pieces like the tickets that I did in the last one. And the same with this, this is um, not going to use up too many scraps unless you have a little bit of a session, but it gives you something, just a few ideas of what to do with your scraps. So what I'm going to do before I glue that little pop-up box in, I'm going to ink around the edges. Now I'm going to decorate this one as well. Okay, so just really, really roughly ink this up. Now you can sew this. I would probably normally sew it, but I'm not going to today. So remember, once again, we've got our little box that we've folded. If you fold it flat, remember these two that are flapping in the breeze, we want to glue them down. Okay, and we're going to glue that down over that centre fold on the card. So you can do these, this sort of idea with like full size cards if you wanted to, if you don't have bigger scraps and just use your smaller scraps for the pop-up um, element. So we're just going to find the center approximately and we're just going to glue that down. Burnish that. So you could ink in the inside there as well. I'm not worrying about that because really you're not going to notice that too much. So I think that that's a little bit better than the last one. It's not quite as bulky if you compare the two. So you could even go smaller again if you wanted to. Okay, so this one measures one inch wide by three inches long. Okay. So there we have our little pop-up piece. Now, what am I going to put on it? I think I'm going to put a label and a flower or something. Let me have a look. So I'm gonna go with that and All right, so what I've done is I've just basically made sure that when I glue this down, I'm just trying to work which way that goes now, um, it's not gonna hang out the sides. If you want it to hang out the sides, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. What I am going to do as well is I'm just going to ink around the back of this just to get rid of some of that white. Same thing, I mean, I don't know. I'm just a little bit pedantic with too much stark white showing. Just sort of dulls it down a little bit. It stays with that vintage sort of style. And then I'm just gonna cut this label out. And you can glue to your little pop-up box um, any little collage that you make really glue it on your little box and then it just hides in the um, the card journaling card until it's opened so I'll ink around this one as well okay so if you want to you can lay your card flat like this um, trying to work out which way this actually goes I think like this so I'm going to glue just on this bottom piece we don't want anything on this top piece just on this bottom piece so I'm going to put glue there because that's pretty much going to be covered fully with my um, flowers and label that I'm putting on here okay and we will just so just remember you've got to put it just above here because otherwise it's all going to crease so I've got a little bit excited with the amount of glue that I've got on there now so I'm just going to wipe that off because we don't want that sticking to here okay and I've got it too far over this way where this is sticking out a bit trim it off it's all good and we could put this label I actually probably wish I had to put it underneath now I think it's too big so I'm gonna go for a smaller one 
Okay, I couldn't find a small enough label, so I've just cut one in half, um, and I'm just gonna put it in the middle there. You probably don't even need anything, but I think I wanna stamp something on there. So I'm going to use this sample numbers from the past stamp, and I'm going to use Figure 104, I think. If I can get it out. So I only need a fairly small one. Figure 104. Okay. used the stamp set before so I just need to prime it first and then I'm just going to stamp it with some black black versafine perfect and then I'm just going to glue that down. Just put a little bit in the middle. Just line that up with the bottom there. Okay. So I'm going to decorate the front here as well. Just a simple collage. How cute is that? And that's just from scraps. What do you think? I don't know I think I'll, I really like it I think I'm going to do most of my pop outs three inches by one and a half because it gives you a, a bigger area to glue more down okay so I'm just going to do a really quick collage here on the front um, and basically I'm just going to use some book page which I've got here um, same thing if you've got book page scraps great way to use them up I'm trying to work my way through that little um, book there that I've got so I'm basically just going to glue this down in place very very simple collage once again you can make this as detailed as you like I'm just going to glue that down there and I want another floral let's just go with that just grabbing whatever I haven't had much time for um, any creative time lately either so I'm going to just grab and glue down and make the most of it while I can okay so we're going to just glue that down there and i will add a label as well glue everywhere so as i said very very simple collage and i want to put a label on there What if I use one of these that I've stamped and then I can stamp something else on there as well? Um, let's go with the brown one. So I've just distressed the edge of that with my scissors. I'm going to stamp something on there and then I'm going to add some cheesecloth underneath as well. I'm 
just cut a piece of cheesecloth. So I've got the fan going in the background too, if you can hear that white noise. It's, um, it's still quite warm here. I just wish autumn weather would hit. Okay, what have we got here that we can use? That one will do. everywhere okay just glue this down Once again, I always, for those of you that don't know or that are new to my channel, first of all, welcome and thank you for subscribing. But I always cut my cheesecloth way bigger than what I need because I like to um, tear away the excess and have like really scrappy edges. And then I'm just going to glue this down on top. Just hold that in place. And really, it should wait until um, that glue is all dried. But I'm always too impatient to do that. So I'm just going to really roughly just pull the edges of that cheesecloth. So it's just really rough and scrappy. Okay. And there we have a cute little card. Now we can glue the three sides here and stick that on a page if we want to in a journal and we've got a pocket. But then we've also got, we can put this in a pocket itself and when we open it up, we have a cute little card inside. Now if you've got a white, uh, sorry, a cute little collage inside that pops up, as you can see there. Now if you've got a white pen, you could um, write on that some hidden journaling or you could just use it as decorative I mean you could put photos that sort of thing on there um, this isn't a very heavyweight card stock this this backing card here um, I probably would use something a little bit heavier um, but if you don't have any it does work just as well so isn't that pretty very cute all right I'm going to scoot off and I'm going to make a few more I cut your strip for your box one inch wide by three inches long, fold it in half first, open it up, fold it one side to the center fold, the other side to the center fold, and then you have what constitutes your little pop-up box like that, okay? The two flaps, two sides that are flapping in the breeze, put glue on those and line them up with your center fold here, and then that constitutes your pop-up and then decorate it however you like, okay? I'm gonna go and make a few. I'll come back shortly and show you um, what I've done. Well, I'm back. Uh, so this was the original one that I made. I'll show you that. And I timed myself, I gave myself an hour to have some scraps and make the bases. So I just folded the cards and made the pop-up pieces, the little squares, and I managed to get 13 done, and that was with um, inking as well. So I think that's pretty good if you can just sort of give yourself half an hour or an hour to use up some of your scraps. So I've used up quite a few of my scraps, and I'm just gonna show you what I did with them. Now, some I've left quite plain and haven't done much with them at all. Um, so this is really lovely. This is a really lovely printable. It was just a scrap. Um, I folded it in half and all I've done is just put a little butterfly in there. So that's pretty plain. When I get to put it in a journal, I can put a label or decorate it again if I want to. 
So that's that one. This one um, is relatively plain as well. I've just done layered two butterflies, made the top one a bit 3D, and then on the inside we just have this lovely floral element. So there's still room for journaling. Um, I had fun putting these together there um, and then just decorating them. So I had a bigger sheet of uh, green, it's got an embossed spot on there, um, cardstock, where I'd torn a piece across. So I've got, I think, three, three pieces out of that. Um, so I've just did, done some layering and what have you here. And then on the inside, it opens up into a pop-up mushroom. Lots more space for journaling, or you can add a pocket in here. It's really only as limited as your imagination. So it's that one. Um, this was another bigger scrap. So as I said, you'd be looking for bigger scraps um, more so than your tiny little ones, but this one's quite pretty as well. And then it pops up and it's got a label and some pink roses. So that's quite pretty. This one is um, from the same piece of scrap. And then I've just laid it with a frame and some uh, fussy cut pieces. And then I've just done like a shadow box um, type pop up on there. So we've just got some flowers and just a butterfly. That's that one. This one, I went a little bit further with it. It was that blue piece, just that, um, it's another printable. And I decorated it and I've put a pocket on the front put this cute little photo I think this is from Louisa Heinzel I might be wrong but I'm pretty sure that's one of hers and I've just put some vellum stickers made it into a pocket and I've just got some tags in here just some random tags to go with the blue and then when I put this into a journal I'll probably just glue the three sides at the back and we can have another pocket and then on the inside, I've just put this beautiful big butterfly. So that's another way you could decorate. Here's another piece of that green cardstock. I've just used an acetate piece from 49 and Market and some 49 and Market rub-ons underneath. Um, just a label from Kelly's Crafts, a bit of cheesecloth. And then I've just done again inside here, a piece of acetate from 49 and Market. And then I've just layered a film strip and another piece of acetate. Just put it on an angle. And then I've put some rub-ons on in here as well. So you can see that on the outside. Aren't they fun? Okay, this one was just a printable scrap as well. And all I've done is just put a little bit of cheesecloth underneath the butterfly, left its wings. And then I've just put a couple of tickets on the as a pop-up and then just use some rub-ons to put down the side you can use stamps you don't have to do that at all i just think it adds a little bit of interest i love this one i love the color of this so this is just some more 49er market acetate pieces and i've just layered two pieces together um, added a label here from kelly's crafts with some um, cheesecloth and on the inside once again i've just used the film strip and a piece of greenery. And then you'll see I've got some more rub-ons on there to sort of just give a bit of interest. This one's really plain. I liked that flower, so I didn't really want to cover it up until I've just put an acetate sticker of some writing there and then just put a beautiful little floral element on the inside. Once again, another simple one. Just put the floral element on the front and then I've just put in the inside here just a washi um, sticker of some greenery and then a, a butterfly looking from the side on as the pop-up. It's another tiny little scrap. I've just put a, another vellum sticker, label and some cheesecloth. And then I've just put another label and another floral inside. So this is probably more of a decorative piece. Although if you've got a black pen, you can probably still journal on that as well. And then the last one, so this makes 14 pieces altogether that I made out of scraps, um, disregarding the elements obviously to decorate. So um, another piece of this green spotty embossed cardstock. I've used rub-ons here another piece of greenery, another acetate piece from 49 and Market. This is another piece from 49 and Market that I've just fussy cut out. 
and then I've just put some mushrooms on the inside. So lots of fun starting to use up scraps. As quick as we use them up though, you do realize that we're going to make more. <laughs> but anyway, we enjoy what we're doing and that's the main thing. So just a couple of ideas for you to use up some of your scraps. So holy scrap guys, that's number two. Let's see what happens next. I hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, I hope you get a little bit of creative time in. See you soon. Bye-bye.